Welcome to the new podcast. I'm starting with some of my friends. So, oh, you want to say something? All right. No, we're not. No, we're not naming it that. <laughs> so what I, the friends I have here with me. Uh, so I'm David, as you may know me or Vex. Uh, but I've got my friends, Dan, Danny and Dan. Uh, we like to call him Dan, too, because we met him after we knew Dan. So, yeah. But, no, no, you. We knew you before him. <laughs> what are you talking about? Dude. It, it, we knew you after the fact. We met him in middle school. You You came in around freshman year. Well, not even freshman year. Uh, a little bit before that, you met Danny while well, at the YMCA, like the summer before freshman year. So, n then when did you guys meet? You would not meet at the grocery store. He doesn't go with his parents to the grocery store. Whatever you say, man. Dude, recently I've been watching a lot of Clint Stevens because he's been posting a lot recently. Well, his editor has because he's been doing more streams. You don't like Clint? Why? Dude, he is not a bad streamer. He is... Dude, how do you hate him? He's, he's not bad at all. He is... Nope. You're just wrong. You're wrong in here. You're wrong in this situation. He is enjoyable, man. Oh, you, you, I mean, yeah, Jerma is very good. Yeah, I, I agree, but that doesn't mean Clint Stevens isn't enjoyable. <laughs> I do, yes, his dollhouse was very fun, although I didn't watch all of it. Call me a fake fan. Yes, yes, whatever. Whatever. But I did really enjoy watching him do the... What was it? The house flipper thing. I remember... I especially remember Poke's house because Poke's house was hilarious. I remember... Was it Joel? Fine sauce Joel that had the freaking... You know what? It, what was it? Yeah, Green Goblin. Yeah, yeah. The the Willem Dafoe. Man, oh, yeah. I I don't know. I don't know any other movies that he's been in. I know he's. I mean, Spider. -Man. No, he was in American Psycho. I mean, American Psycho. It's all right. It's, it's far from my favorite, but it does have some it has some fun fun moments it's it's it, it was far from what i was expecting it to be when i watched it because from the from the memes i i i don't know it was just different than what i expected when i first watched it well i only watched it once but you know no i don't know if i would fully recommend it it's fun for a watch but it's like it's not the most crazy film, but it, there's a lot of funny moments and, and just, it's just, it's enjoyable, but I wouldn't like recommend it as like a must watch movie. Yeah, it's not, it's not as good as Spider-Man. I mean, they're not even comparable. What do you mean? You have not watched American Psycho. You're asking about American Psycho. You're not... They are not the same. They're not similar at all. Dude. Uh, yes, they're both enjoyable, but they're not the same. They're not even superhero. I mean, Spider-Man, yes, but... But... It's not even... American Psycho is not even a... a super, it's not even a Batman. The movie is not even Batman. <laughs> no... Wait, Dan. 
what what do you what are you thinking what do you think about the recent games that are going to be coming out like in the the, the Nintendo Direct and stuff like that Yeah Yeah there are way too many remakes I do have to agree it's nothing but remakes I mean there's a random games that appear that aren't actually Nintendo's property but I don't call I don't think of those when I think of Nintendo Direct the only games I really care about when it comes to Nintendo Direct uh, are actual Nintendo games or it's a big game that I actually care about you know which <clears throat> there is going to be Skater XL that comes out I know you guys don't play skating games, but I, hey, I love Skater XL. I don't know if I'll get it. I I probably will, but I don't know if it's gonna be full priced. I don't know if I will get it. I already have console build on. Yeah, I have I have the console version on my Xbox One, but I don't think I. It depends how the Switch version is. It, it it'll be good to have it on the go, but I don't know. I don't bring my Switch many places anyways like even when I was in Hawaii I didn't bring the switch I mean I did bring my friend's laptop because he was allowing me to borrow it uh, I played some fun games played some Thug Pro on it I played Thug Pro on the plane I mean I know you guys don't care about it I, don't, I know you don't care about Tony Hawk but it was pretty cool to me to play it on a, on plane. I was also making a remix there in Hawaii. Uh, I made it in. Uh, it's like not not only like did I make it uh, in Hawaii, but I was also making it on the plane. I was cooking up some beats. Yeah, it was a remix of uh, NFT by <laughs> Jesse SF. SFMI? SMFI? I don't know. But he plays with uh, XQC quite a bit. I like I like XQC. No, I don't think him signing with Kick was a scummy thing. It was... I don't know. It was just him getting money. It's like... It's, I don't find it scummy. I don't. I really don't. I don't know. He he's gonna be he streams, he still streams on Twitch. I think it was just good in his, for him anyways. And like, if he gets banned on Twitch, he can just go to Twitch uh, to Kick because you know. He he goes there though. He yeah yeah him. Yeah, I do agree. Yeah, it wasn't. It it's not. <laughs> it was kind of really risky for him to immediately start streaming some Breaking Bad and. What else did he stream? Was it Batman? I don't remember, but it was, it was, it was, yeah. I do enjoy his streams there, though. It is like I don't know if you guys remember the first, uh, like I'm um, Danny especially since I know you also watch X. I don't know if you were there during the first few days of his kick streams, but first of all. If you were trying to watch a VOD, good luck trying to trying to find what what happened to the chat because chat does not exist on that for VODs. Maybe it maybe it does now. I haven't gone in there for a while. But it was like oh man. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know, man. It, the chat was so abysmal. Yeah, I don't know. I don't watch, like, OTV streamers, especially not on Twitch. Uh, so I don't know. I don't fully know what their chat is exactly like. Well, yeah, well, no. I don't even think Michael streams. Does he? No, I don't even know. But I know people like Lily Pichu and... Well, Pokemon isn't even 
on OTV anymore. I almost said OTK. I yes, I I, I still watch. Yeah, I, I I like I like Miss Kiff still. I don't know. Like even with that, I was like, but he's so damn funny. Anyways, man, I I I just find him funny, man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't watch critical streams either. I mean, I have before, but no. Mm-hmm. I mean, that makes sense, but still. Okay, yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> There's, it's not something to argue about. It's just some random hula, but. <laughs> okay. No, no, we're not calling you Dan Snyder. What? <laughs> he is nothing like him. What are you talking about? If he's Dan Snyder, you're also Dan Snyder. It's how it works. You call him that. I call you that as well. You're both Dan. So, you know, if he's not like that, then you're not like that. If he is like that, you're like that. Yeah, I'll, cl I'll call you any name. Well, that I consent to call you because I'm not going to be calling you something like anything naughty, okay? Okay, Dan. I mean, Danny can call you whatever he wants to call you, but, you know, I have my limits when it comes to you. I, I know, I know. It's just how it how it is. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> I say that yes, I say that is because I don't care about Final Fantasy really. I've never fully played a game. I've seen some stuff of like Final Fantasy Seven of like Dick Tree or whatever it was about getting like level 100 with both characters in the starting area that yeah it was a very fun thing but i don't know anything else i just know that <laughs> well I, I i do know about yeah i do i do know about tifa yes i do You know why. You know why. But, like, Final Fantasy VII just has so many different games named Final Fantasy VII, you know? Like, of course, there's Final Fantasy VII and then the remake. But then there's so many games. Like, sure, like, there's Call of Duty Call, Call of Duty 2 and then there's Call of Duty 2 Big, Big Red 1 and whatever else. But that's a completely different thing, plus it's also Call of Duty. But Final Fantasy VII just has so many different, you know. Oh, maybe I should turn on my light. Oh, my God. Yeah, I didn't have my light on the whole time. What do you mean? You, you could have just looked on Discord and you just saw, saw me there. You don't have to wait for the video to come out. Yeah. No, I think the first video should come out on my channel since I do have a at least a little bit of a following. <laughs> you just upload random clips of you playing Valorant, which don't really go anywhere, but they're they're good clips, but still. You only have like 20 subscribers. You don't post whatever.
Oh yeah, you've been. Uh, have you been watching that? You know the. I mean, I've also been partic uh, participating in it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, m most critical Charlie, Charles White. You know he was playing. Well, no, he. Yeah, he did play this game, like I don't know, a week or two ago, but like a couple of days ago he put out. A thing about how he has put this little competition challenge thing where so it's a, it's a speedrun challenge of uh, the game called Escape from Lavender Island and yes I, I yeah I am playing it I I've been speedrunning it right now there's like the world records like eight minutes 50 something seconds or something it, it's gone it's gone down so much like my record right now is nine minutes and 53 seconds I, i'm trying my best man I, it's it's not the worst record okay i i'm i went I, i'm at least sub 10 which is pretty nice but recently there's another skip i know you okay you don't want to hear about it. okay whatever but yes, I've been streaming it a lot on Twitch and YouTube. Both at different times, you know. I've been... Yeah. I mean, they're f it's, it's a fun game. Like, unironically, it is a fun game. It looks wild and crazy and bizarre and out there. And completely different than anything else. But it's very fun. Very fun in it, indeed. I mean, yeah. I do have to agree on that, though. No, the music is good. The music is unironically it's fun to listen to. But there are... There are moments where I'm just like, ugh. Because you can't even turn off the music, plus I don't want to, because there's a couple cues I get. Plus... There's a like a minute long cutscene, like the last part of the game, where it's music like blah, 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 and then there's a synth that comes in, wow, and it copies the piano line, but it's just it's it's very good, it's very fun, and it keeps stuff going on in, the, in my ears, it just it stimulates my ears, man. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, if I win, if I win this freaking speedrun challenge, I demand that I perform at least one song with the gentleman where I'm on drums, whether Troy is there or not, because, you know, I don't think he lives in America, but if I go down to Florida and I'm on drums, because I saw in, like, Miz's recent vlog, uh, of a day in most Critical's life or whatever and he has a drum set in his like gym area was it his gym i don't even remember but he has a drum set it didn't sound good on mic i don't know if it was just the drums itself that that also sounded bad because it's, i think the symbols sounded pretty bad but it had the gentleman uh logo on it and it was pretty cool but none of them knew how to play drums well matt did matt did Oh, Matt's, uh, Matt's his friend. He is in a lot of videos uh, and sometimes streams, especially for, like, if, like, you know, uh, Moisty Esports have an event going on, you know, they, yeah. Yeah, I don't watch the Moisty Esports thing going on live, but I do... I do enjoy watching the videos afterwards just because, yeah, they are fun to watch. They get super hyped. They also did a live thing recently, and with this, they also did they did a thing to where, with this, they recorded a music video or something. I think that's what Charlie said. I don't know. I don't, I didn't go there because, well, I don't 
live in Florida or I didn't even have a trip to go down there. Because, uh, you know, it would be, it would, it would have been expensive for me when I don't have that money, that kind of money. But it was enjoyable to watch the video. Well, I think it was a live stream as well of the event. I wish, I just wish that we could hear the crowd a little bit better. The mic setup was very scuffed, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, I don't watch esports at as much as other things. Esports, though, though I say that, it is very fun to watch. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't play Valorant, though. I, it's it's fun to watch that and CSGO, but I, I don't play them. Yeah. I have played Overwatch, but I'm just saying, if I didn't know about things in Overwatch, like before I even played Overwatch, watching it live was so impossible to do because you didn't know what anything was going on, was doing. Like... Because I've played it, I understand that Soldier 76 does this. There's the Monkey Ball that does that. There's D.Va and all of these characters. I understand it a bit more, but it's just so much is going on without understanding. Like, even when I'm playing, like, I'll play Reinhardt. Or if I'm not playing a tank, I'm playing Farah, Farah or something. And it's... Oh, man. It is so fun. But it's so, like, even if I'm in this, I can't even tell what I'm doing a lot of the time as well. Like, I'll focus on a character, but then if, like, all, if all six of us, or I guess it's Overwatch 2 now, if all five of us, like, all ten of us are in the, a, a, the same area, it is impossible to tell what we're doing. No, no. It's impossible to tell what's going on. It is not simple. It's not as simple as Call of Duty. Dude, Call of Duty, you know what's going on. Uh, like, the the most there is, is when it comes to equipment, is just a bouncing Betty. You throw some text across the map. It, maybe it'll stun or hit someone and, you know, kill them or not. And then they run. They take a corner. Like, th think of Newtown. They just go around the bus. They peek around there and then shoot uh, at the blue house and then... Oh, you know, maybe there'll be someone that walks across the bouncing Betty and dies. Who knows? But no, it's not. It's it's it is simple, but it's not as simple as no. I'm not even no. Overwatch is not the simple thing. It's Call of Duty that's the simple thing. You don't understand a thing. Yeah, I don't care about League either. I've tried to play it. I've tried to play it multiple times. Dan. Dan, I know you I know you like to play League, but it's not it's fun to watch live in certain settings. Like I enjoyed the Mr. Beast versus Ninja League thing where Mizkiv was a part of it and you know, Ludwig <laughs> Ludwig did nothing for his team and Tyler One clowned on him. It was a thing that happened like a year and a half ago before the whole OTK drama. That's why Mizkiff was in that and not, you know. Yeah. I, I don't know either. I don't know if, if it, yeah, I don't know anything. I mean, I don't, I don't like to talk about what happened with OTK much because it's just like, you know, I watched them. I watched them still. Like, Asmin and stuff. I've watched them all the time. Like, I love watching Asmin talk about Elden Ring so much. I love his reactions to, like, uh, what is it? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I do enjoy S Fan as an appearance on other people's stream, but I can't, I, I haven't watched his stuff myself. I remember they were doing a, a rock band live stream 
and just well yeah well you, you know that i play the games a lot like guitar hero clone hero guitar hero world tour well the mod for that no i i, I haven't played through all of through the fire and flames on expert I could probably I, I could do it on easy <laughs> yes I can do it on easy yes I'm not that bad I can play it on easy <laughs> but expert no I can do all sorts of stuff I played through Guitar Hero 3 I beat it on expert mode with my glitchy guitar my yeah it would do false inputs sometimes and it was annoying especially during the devil went down to Georgia uh, boss battle. No, it's not the premise version. It was, I don't even remember what version, but it was, it was fun. It was fun to do, but it was also, well, it was fun to beat it. It was really annoying trying to beat it. It was so stupid. Well, you haven't beaten it, so you you can't say if it was difficult or not. <laughs> uh, you're such an idiot. Oh, Danny, are you excited for any of the upcoming anime for the next season, for fall 2023? I mean, it doesn't look like there's too much for me, per se. For whatever reason, Girlfriend Girlfriend is getting a second season. Yeah, I know. N nobody asked for that. Same with Shield Hero. Who asked for a second season? Who asked for a third season? I mean, okay. First watch of season one, I did enjoy, and I tried. Uh, I was like, I was like, okay, I'll rewatch it because I enjoyed it. I tried to rewatch it, and I enjoyed like the first six episodes because it was like it was actually f pretty fun, but it was also like after that was finished. Well, I can't say it was fun, but it was, it was fun to see the result afterwards, after whatever happened, I can't, I'm not going to say, but afterwards, it just became such a bland isekai. It was like one of the blandest isekais of all time. You think it was, it's, you think it's po the most popular? No, no. Well, there's like... Sort of online is even an isekai because you know they go into the VR and they go into a, a fantasy world. That that <laughs> yes, it is sort of online. So it's of course it's going to be like that. <laughs> I I wasn't saying that it was good though. I do think it. <laughs> it's it's a fun show. I understand the hate. I hate it, but I also love it. I love the idea of it, man. It's like, <laughs> oh my god, the the show is all over the place, and it's. I'm so glad these movies are rewriting it and filling in the holes of these other floors that have not been done. Like, it's rewriting it, and I'm glad for that because it was. It it's been. Like yes, yeah, yeah. It. No. Whatever. But I it, like he he wrote this. This was like one of his first ever stories when he wrote it in like early two thousands. So of course he's gonna be upset with a lot of the parts that he wrote that he wish he which is why he's rewriting it in these movies, because or at least so far it seems that way. Cause he's really upset with like I, I'm, I'm assuming he's upset with the, uh, the, the slime rape scenes, and whatever, and making it to the where. Well, I mean, <laughs> it, I don't know. I don't think it really adds too much to the story because it just like. It, it was out of the blue and it didn't do anything in the long run. It wasn't talked about like afterwards. No. You don't hear about it afterwards. You, it, it was it was there and it was done. There's no reason for it. 
They didn't add anything. <laughs> Same with like Dan the second. You're not defending that, dude. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> it does. It doesn't do anything to the story, man. I mean, well, yeah, that scene does, but it's not, it's, it's because it was talked about later. Alpha Online was, like, there's parts of it that were talked about later, but that wasn't one of them. Alpha Online was also, it was just a really stupid section as well. The game did not seem interesting, and also the overall structure of the story was horrible. Alphine Online just looks boring. It was, it was such a boring part. I mean, I didn't, to be honest, I personally didn't mind Gun Gale all too much. I don't know. It still was enjoyable for me personally. I don't know. There's a lot of empty moments. A lot of stupid moments, I guess. But it, it, in the long run, I didn't think it was the worst part. I I still think that the second season of Alpha, like, oh man, it 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 was brought back in the second season. I mean, I can see why you didn't continue after the first season, but I don't know. It it was brought back in the second season. It was horrible it was horrible i didn't like it now like you're gonna hate it when i say this but i've i've rewatched sort of online about like 20 to 30 times <laughs> yeah i have my reasons in middle school i loved it a lot and i still kind of do even though it is horrible it's like i still it's that it's that trash that I love. It's my trash taste that I love. Like, oh uh, man, I. <laughs> but like every time I rewatched it in like middle school, like even if I were to rewatch it now, if I rewatch the second season, I just skip over the after Gun Gale. After that's done, there's nothing else that's needed in that season. Well, that character that you meet in that in that section just dies at the end of, end of the season and isn't really talked about later in, like, Alicization or anything. Maybe for a moment, but it didn't, re it didn't leave an impact. Oh. Well, I can't really remember too much. Yeah. But some other animes I'm really excited about this season, which first of all, currently I, I'm, I'm, I mean I need to watch the last couple episodes of Ushoku Tensei season two, part one, because that's yeah. But it's also kind of hard after I've been reading it and I'm like, and like, if I think about it, I'm probably about like where season three would be, like the middle point of season three. Well, I can't really say. No, I'm not gonna say what happened. What do you, dude? I'm not gonna spoil it. It's you're dumb. Just watch it or read it. Read it. If you don't want to read it, find some audiobook or something. I don't know. I'm sure there's some. Cause I know there is. Because I've been reading. Reading. Yeah, I've been listening. Yeah, I'm. I'm 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 boring. I know, I know, but it. Oh man, I don't even want to get started on that because I'm not like even if we're all caught up, I'm not even ready to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, but Spy X Family season two would be fun to watch. I it it's just a wholesome show. It's not meant to be like an. Down, uh, astonishing, astound, 
I don't know. It's not supposed to be like the best, like perfect show that has the best story that's going all over the places. Not ReZero. ReZero has an incredible story, man. <clears throat> the point. <laughs> oh my god, your complaint is that he <laughs> is nothing but him dying? Yeah, exactly. There's not you can't even argue against that because it's such a it's such a stupid statement, man. It's such a stupid stupid point. Of course he's going to be doing dying. It's it's his ability, man. Oh my god. And I love it about it because you get to see different aspects of these characters, different interactions. If he dies after being really nice with them and then, you know, they, he dies to and then he has to meet this person again. He's going to, if he's in a hurry, of course, the person he met, like the second time he meets them, he's they're going to be really confused and not be as kind as the first time. It's just, it gives different, like, aspects to these characters, different, you get to see different areas and stuff, or like, different interactions and everything. It's just, I love it. I that and Steins Gate, it, it's very, they're very similar, but have different things going on. You're lost for not liking those shows. Well, you didn't even get through all of Steins Gate. You only, last I heard, you only got like four episodes in and then dropped it. It's just a good show. Sure, if you want to, if you want to experience it through the visual novel, go ahead. I'm not. St Why would I stop you to that? <laughs> Whatever, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about Doctor Stone really any either. I mean, I read like the first volume or second volume of the of the manga. I tried to watch the anime, but it didn't, it didn't really do anything for me. That's why I don't really care about seeing it being like, oh, there's another thing of Dr. Stone coming out this season. I just couldn't watch it, man. I don't know why. I don't know. Yeah, this season doesn't seem to be jam-packed with a lot of anime that I really care about or or really want to watch. Oh yeah, Vinland Saga. That was oh, season two was so good. I oh man, <laughs> I enjoyed it way more than season one. I am one that yeah, I didn't find Vinland Saga season one to be my favorite at all. I found it to be a seven out of ten. Yes, a seven out of ten. No, like. Of course, the the combat is incredible, but I didn't really care for the story for it as much. I don't know, man. I just couldn't get into it. I mean, I did for a moment, but I, I was expecting something else. I did expect a lot of combat, but it, it was just the story itself, I don't know. But season two, it was so much better. I, I enjoyed it more because there was less combat as well. Even though I enjoyed the combat in season one, it wasn't... I, I enjoyed season two so much more. It was more story driven, it felt like. It was about the characters. It was about character development. Was, oh man. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> Whatever. Nah, man. Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> no, man. Bro. Wait, Dan. 
What did he? No, no. But what did you think about Code Geass? Because I know you said that you watched it like last year or something. Yeah. It is. It's so good, man. Oh, you want to know something? <laughs> you want to know something? Yeah. yeah. Want to know something? So I was... No, I don't, I don't, I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't care to watch the movies. I didn't watch those, but do you want to know something? No, I haven't watched that either. Yeah. So like w what I'm trying to say or, or talk about is like, like before I watched that, or I was in the middle of watching it, but I watched this video of Charlie most, most critical Mr. Moisty himself doing a, my anime list thing where he's doing an anime list thing of ranking all of them, giving it a score through all of like the popular, very popular animes, you know, and like, well, it, it was an enjoyable video. Yeah. But like when he got to code Geass, he just spoiled it just because he spoiled the ending. Yeah. Because he was so talking about how one of the movies has a like, the title of one of the movies is like is reason for him to spoil it or whatever it was like it's so stupid i no i didn't like it because like i i, I don't know if i left it just like on the video because i still enjoy the video because it's just like it's a topic that i really liked to watch it's just <laughs> he spoiled it and i mm, my god i hated it but I still, in the long run, really did. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, me too. I also cried to the ending. Even after knowing about it. And even, like, I rewatched the show, like, earlier this year. And I cried to the same spot, man. It was just, I don't know how it was done. Because I already knew what was going to ha what was going to happen. <laughs> it's just it's just powerful man yeah it does look like cum <laughs> I mean I don't know does it taste like it I don't know no it's not the shellac thing it's, it's, it has Powerade on the logo right there it looks like a Powerade bottle but no I mean I'm curious of what uh, Schlatt's, uh, uh, it's not G Fuel, what is it? Gamer Subs. Wait, is it Gamer Subs? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Gamer, yeah, dude, Charlie is, oh. yeah, I'm look. oh man, I'm on their site and, a lot of these flavors and shakers. Yep. I want them, but I also know that I will get weird looks from my parents. No, it's, it's called white cherry. It, it tastes good. I do enjoy it, but I don't think it is that, but I think uh, oh man! I, uh, no, I mean the classic red and blue flavors are still really good, but I've been I've just been drinking this a lot. I don't know. My mom's been buying them, and so I've been drinking them. Nah. It is fun to watch, but it's not. It's not one I come back to. Like I, I've, I've tried to watch the whole thing, but it's, I can't. No, I'm not about to puke. <laughs> it feels like it. Oh. Some did. Not, yeah, some did actually come up to my throat, and it. Ugh. I'm not actually gonna puke, but it just. Tasting it, 
Oh, I hate it. No, it's not because I had this. This actually tastes good and it feels nice. I don't know. I don't know, it feels like a drink. I don't know about that one. I don't know. I mean, really, there isn't much that I've been doing. Well, I have been playing some other games. I have been playing some, like, Geometry Dash. Though I can't get it to be working right now. I don't know. It's just, like, I updated my computer. Uh, I mean, it's already been... It's been Windows 11 for a while. That wasn't the problem, but it was just like I, there was a Windows update or like whatever. So I, d I did that and it broke my geometry dash. I can't run it. I un I've uninstalled it, reinstalled it. I've validated my files. I've done everything. It doesn't work. It works on my phone, but that's different. I don't know. I was, I was, I was grinding it, man. And I want to play the new update, but I can't if it's like this. I want to play 2.2 .2 when it drops, but I don't know if I'll be able to. It's upsetting because I, well, I want to do a video on it on the new. Oh, well, I want to do a couple of videos because the next, next levels. But oh, <clears throat> I don't know. That demon level looks like it's going to be way worse than deadlocked. Like I can do deadlocked. It's, it is difficult, but it's not the most difficult thing in the world. Like, it's... it's well, my skill level isn't... It's not bloodbath worthy. And I'm not... <laughs> no. Oh, my God. No, I don't... I don't want to... I don't want to pull a Space UK with the new levels. I want to beat them normally, just like I've done with all the other levels. Normal levels, they are. That is, that is, well, I, you know, maybe, maybe in my elementary days, I did some, some wackaroonies. No, that wasn't supposed to sound like that. No, <laughs> no, did, no, it was just, I, I did cheat in elementary. But, yeah, oh, well, how I did it was because on, I had the Mac version because we had a Mac forever ago, before we had PCs, or we had, well, you know, but, uh, so on it, I had, I found out how to sheet and make it so that it replaces, like, the ID of, of one level and replaces it with a created level or any other level, so I did it with a created level that just has a block, and then I submitted it. I don't know if I submitted it. I don't remember what it was, but I I did that and I beat that and so it counted it for that and it counted it for bloodbath. So I did pull a space UK in like elementary. But I don't know how to get rid of that. I want to get rid of it, but I can't. I want to like I I want to get rid of it just because I want like look, I don't think I will be able to get to bloodbath level. Cause I don't think I have that much commitment to the game. Um, no, you have not beaten that level. You're you're not that good at the game. I mean, you can beat demon levels, but you're not. No. Even if you send me a screenshot, I don't, I don't, or a video, or anything, I will doubt it. Even if you get everything perfect, I will call it. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that's the, uh, I don't know, Bomb Rush Cyberpunk is another vid video game that I've been playing, but it's like, uh, I made a, f I, I want to play it again, but I don't know. I don't, I interacted with one of the modders, but it, it was just like, I don't know, I didn't like his interaction, so it kind of tainted it a little bit for me. Not, I mean, not, not the whole game, it's just, I, I still enjoy the game. I don't know. 
It's just a mental thing, I guess. I don't know, it's just his tone towards me just felt really rude. Like, for no reason. Not even, yeah, it's just no reason. It was just, I didn't like it. I mean, well, <laughs> I mean, Danny, you're not, you haven't played the game, so you don't, I don't know. Well, yes, it does have some similar aspects to Tony Hawk. I mean, to an extent. I mean, it does, it does have skateboarding. It does have comboing. It doesn't play like it. I mean, I, I can't really give you too, too much of like, you haven't. You don't guys. You guys don't play Tony Hawk, so you can't. I can't really give you too much of comparison that would make sense to you because you haven't played either. <laughs> Oh, what game you should start with Tony Hawk? Start with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. It's the best in the series. No, don't look at it. Don't look at the Metacritic. Nope. It's a good score. Trust me. Trust me. It's... Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, I, I to be honest, I do have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Five for yes, I do have it. Yes, I mean it, it's the best Tony Hawk game. I told you, I have it for the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, PS Four, Xbox One. Wait, do I have it? Yeah, I do. I have it for the Xbox One. I'm just missing it. I'm missing it for the PS Three. So I just have it three times. Yeah, I know. Fake fan. Don't even have it for the, all four consoles. I mean, I do have Tonak Ride and Shred. I have two versions of, or, yeah. Two things of Ride for the Wii. Two things of Shred for the Wii. And I do have Ride for the 360, but I don't have the board for the 360. I have both boards for the Wii. Both Ride and Shred. Yeah. I have all the DS games as well. And GBA games. I don't know if I have all the GBC games. How do you know that they're on the Game Boy Color? I do. It. Yeah, I do talk about this game. So. But it's like more just like jokingly. Because I know you guys don't play them. Or know much about them. So I just say random stuff about it. Just to say stuff. Yeah. Yeah, true. Dude, those skate uh, the skate games. I know. I mean, I know you're talking about Skate Three, especially, but like, all the skate games are super fun. Even like Skate It is very fun. I have 100% that game. Oh, it's the game for the Wii. It's it it plays really weirdly, but it's actually very fun. Yeah, it's just a game I... I had it. That was the one skate game I had before I had it. Any of them for the Xbox. You know that I am an Xbox guy. We played Xbox Live in middle school. <laughs> you're dumb. Yeah, you're dumb. <laughs> we do... You were, th you were asking me if I played Xbox three or PS three. Dude, we played Call of Duty all the time. We played Black Ops two, custom matches and uh, and, you know, zombies. Oh my god. Uh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> well, no, we didn't do any Easter eggs. Well, you didn't. Well, I didn't have. No, I did have the Easter. Not the Easter eggs, but the. The DLCs. You didn't have them. So we didn't play anything else. Yeah, we were just playing a lot of town and transit. <laughs> Nobody played farm. It was just. It, was, it wasn't even a good. It, it wasn't even as good as town town is like it was like it was perfect to do rounds yeah i don't know if we made it past 30 i mean to be fair we were just we didn't we weren't that great at, at zombies i'm better now yeah but still yeah oh man playing call of duty like when it re uh yeah during like well, no, I'm not talking about like when we were in middle school, but like talking about recently when the games were like the online was fixed. So and also put on like Game Pass or something. Or no, it was on. It was like it had a big sale, and I I, I was playing all of them. Um. Yeah, my 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 Cold War is banned. Well, it, it wasn't even my fault. They they banned me for hacking when I didn't even do that. I was just too good or something. I don't even know. So when they banned me, they didn't even tell me why I was banned. So I, my appeal was a lot of nonsense because I didn't know what I was banned for. So I thought I was banned for uh, for the reason that I, uh, well, I there was I was playing a lot of Nuketown to level up my guns to do the camos to try to get a dark aether but when doing this I would go to multiplayer to level up my guns and I would I would play Nuketown 24 7 and then if I were doing like pistols or something or even the launchers because the launchers are so bad in this game I would go to like hardcore but I was uh, first of all I, I'm it's skill based smash making, but even then I'm still really good. I don't know. Yeah, I'm boasting. Yeah. Yeah, I, I drop a 80 bomb every once in a while. <laughs> well, it's, well, I'm talking about like game. It, no, I'm not talking about team deathmatch. I'm talking about domination. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I know you don't care about Call of Duty. Dan the second, you don't care about it, and I am aware. Well, we just love the game, and it's 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 very good. I don't care for Battlefield. I don't. I don't care about Battlebit. I don't care about Phantom Forces on Roblox. Oh yeah, front lines. That is a very, it's fun. It's fun, but it, and it's it's very impressive what of what they are able to do. But it's also a lot of the time it's difficult to see what's happening because the lighting is not the best. Well, I'm talking about in like dark areas. <laughs> I do love my Roblox, but yeah. Oh, my favorite game on it is probably Roblox Granny. I'm just too good at it. I know all the maps. I know everything about the maps, about the locations and everything. Let me see. How is it right now? Granny. I just lost a lot of players. Upcoming update. House Chapter 1 is ha having a remake. I know you don't care about it. I, uh, it's just it's just surprising to me because that will mean that well they're remaking it because I don't know some of them I don't know I'm not a part of the team but I'm assuming it's because it's too easy for especially the the car ending 
So I'm assuming they're just going to be remaking that and probably some other stuff in the map. Though I like it how it is. Even though it's always the one that's being chosen, which I can do all the other maps. And I like doing Mansion the most. Well, that's from the third game, yeah. They just have all the maps, plus an original map, I think. Which, it's not the greatest. It's a lot of running back and forth through this long map that... Yeah, it's just not the best. I'm surprised you know a bit about this game. Ooh, you watch like... Oh, you did that too... Dude, I loved watching Critical Critical do the speedrunning of that game. Of uh, I know he, I don't know if he played the other games, but I know he he speed ran, uh, the first game. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> oh my God. That makes that makes sense. Hey Danny. Yeah. But but Danny, do you what do you think about Danny, the game developer? Yeah, he did disappear, but I hope he's working on his most wish list game called Carlson cuz I do enjoy his games. <laughs> yeah, his games are pretty fun. Especially Crab Game. I I love Muck, but none of my friends are into it, so I can't I, it's, it's not it's not as enjoyable. I don't play. I don't I don't play Crab Game anymore. Nobody nobody does, but when it was a thing, it was it was so fun. It's just fun. It's it's just when you are playing with your friends, it's it's such a blast. It's one of the greatest games to play with friends, with a group of friends. Though I don't recommend playing it right now because I mean it's still fun. I don't say I don't recommend it, it's just that it's stuck in a Christmas update, which just feels weird. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's end it here. Well, that was the first episode of our podcast. If you guys did enjoy this, maybe we'll make this a, an ongoing thing. Who knows? I definitely enjoyed talking with Dan... Danny and Dan two, the second. We're not adding the third. I mean, we don't even need. We don't know another Danny. Or Dan. Well. No. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this, please consider like, commenting, subscribing, all of that. You know, and yeah. That's about it. If you liked it, what, what, did you, what did you rate it? You're the best. You're the best. What should I review next? Oh, that's uh, that's Anthony Fantano, uh, Needle Shop, music reviewer guy, uh, uh, internet species, music nerd, uh, guy that gave my beautiful dark twisted fantasy a six, which I agree with. Okay. Yeah. Yeah wrap it up all right well yeah that's about it i will s we will see you in the next video in the next podcast i almost said i because i'm usually just recording by myself yeah i mean we're n this is the first time we're doing this so <laughs> i don't really collab with people but yeah anyways that's about it i almost said stay good because it's, that's what i usually do but We'll see you there. Well, I guess I could. All right, all right. 
stay good. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, it was good. It was good enough. It was good enough. All right, bye, 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 bye.